Welcome to the first lecture of Network Theory. In this lecture, I will give you the syllabus of the subject. But before moving to the syllabus of the subject, I want to make one thing very clear to the Indian students. If you are preparing for GATE or any other competitive examination, then the lectures are more than enough. We will solve many examples to understand the core concepts of the subject and I will solve almost 80 to 90 percent questions which appeared in the previous gate exams and I will also give you homework problems so that you can practice the concepts on your own. So let's move on to the syllabus of the subject. Chapter number one is basics. And this particular chapter is the most important chapter in the whole course. This is important because all the other chapters are based on the concepts of the basics chapter. Therefore, pay more attention to this particular chapter and try to understand all the basics so that it will be easy for you and also for me to complete the remaining chapters. In the first chapter, the important topics are understanding of charge, current, voltage, power and energy and once we are done with them we will move on to the circuit elements. The first circuit element is resistor and after this we will discuss capacitor, then we will discuss inductor and finally we will talk about sources. In sources we will talk about ideal and practical voltage source ideal and practical current source, dependent and independent sources and there is one more topic in the sources which is source transformation but we will not discuss source transformation in the basics chapter, we will discuss it in the theorems chapter because after having the understanding of Thevenin's and Norton's theorem, it is easy to understand the source transformation. And once we are done with all the different circuit elements, we will move on to the next topic which is Kirchhoff's laws. In Kirchhoff's laws, there are two laws. The first one is Kirchhoff's current law and the second one is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Then we will have discussion on mesh analysis. There are different models in mesh analysis and we will understand all the different models one by one by the help of different examples. Then we will understand nodal analysis and again we have different models in nodal analysis. Then we will move on to the series and parallel combinations of resistors, series and parallel combinations of capacitors, series and parallel combinations of inductors. And finally we will have the discussion on star delta transformation and delta star transformation. Remember, these are the important topics. There are many small small topics in the chapter and there are many different questions based on those topics. So right now we are only looking at the important topics we are having in the different chapters. So this is all for the first chapter. Now we will move on to the second chapter which is two port networks and in this chapter we will have discussion on different parameters and they are Z parameters or impedance parameters, Y parameters or admittance parameters, H parameters or hybrid parameters, G parameters, T parameters or transmission parameters or ABCD parameters. After this we will talk about conditions for symmetry and reciprocity. Then we will move on to the Bartlett bisection theorem. Then we will have discussion on relation between two port parameters. And finally we will understand different interconnection models of two port networks. Different interconnection models are series series interconnection, parallel parallel interconnection, series parallel interconnection, parallel series interconnection and the last one is cascade interconnection. So these are the important topics in chapter number two, two port networks. Now we will talk about chapter number three which is sinusoidal steady state analysis. In this chapter we will start our discussion with phasors 
and then we will perform the steady state analysis of resistor, the steady state analysis of inductor and the steady state analysis of capacitor and then we will perform the steady state analysis of series RL circuit then we will perform the steady state analysis of series RC circuit in the same way we will perform the steady state analysis of series RLC circuit parallel RL circuit parallel RC circuit and parallel RLC circuit and after this I will explain what is root mean square value and the average value and the final topic will be complex power the fourth chapter will have different theorems and the theorems are superposition theorem Thevenin's theorem Norton's theorem reciprocity theorem Milman's theorem compensation theorem substitution theorem Telegan's theorem and the last but the most important maximum power transfer theorem we will discuss maximum power transfer theorem for both AC and DC so this is all for the fourth chapter and the fifth chapter is transients transients are present in the circuit whenever the circuit is subjected to any change and the circuit is having the energy storing elements like capacitor and inductor in this chapter we will find out the transients in source free RL circuit transients in source free RC circuit we will also understand what is time constant then we will find out transients in RL circuit with source and transients in RC circuit with source then we will talk about AC transients and we will find out transients in series RLC circuit and parallel RLC circuit and finally we will understand the application of Laplace transform in finding out the transients the sixth chapter is resonance and in this chapter we will first talk about series resonance and we will also talk about the quality factor and the bandwidth then we will talk about parallel resonance then we will talk about tank circuit and finally we will understand what do we mean by dynamic impedance the seventh chapter is graph theory and in this chapter we will understand what is tree what is co-tree what is subgraph connected graph and loop then we will understand what do we mean by incidence matrix tie set matrix and cut set matrix we will also find out the relation between cut set matrix and tie set matrix the eighth chapter is on filters and in this chapter i will explain low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band elimination filter and the all pass filter the ninth chapter is magnetic circuits in this chapter i will explain how to deal with the dot polarity and the final chapter which is the 10th chapter is locus diagram in this chapter i will explain how we can trace the path which will be formed by the tip of the current vector by varying any one circuit element or the frequency of the circuit so this is all for the syllabus of network theory and i hope you will watch all the lectures in the proper sequence to avoid any confusion and from the next lecture we will start with the basics of network theory which is our chapter number one so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one